So today's call will be our business manager setup. And so as I was explaining, um, on your post, on your business page, as you post over there, some of those posts, you'll have the ability to boost. You'll see the blue button. Um, mm -hmm. and, and as I mentioned, most agents do it that way, which, and, and they have no clue what they're doing. They, they think, and it's not just agents, it's actually everyone, it's everyone. And that blue button so misleading. We click it, we think we're running an ad and, and, and we, we kind of are, but what's missing is all of the tracking of the data. Like we don't know who's who's clicking on the ad. We don't know who's watching the video. Um, we're not collecting any of that data to retarget in the future with more ads. So when you boost a post, don't ever boost a post, first of all. But okay. what I'm trying to explain is just one way people do it. One way people try to run an ad is they boost a post. Never do it that way. And then okay. the second way is by default, we all have an ads manager. So if you have a personal pay, a personal profile, you have a business page, by default, you have an ads manager. And the ads manager, you'll see, you'll see the button as you um, click on see more to the left. So right mm -hmm. there below marketplace, click on see more. You should see um, ads manager. Yeah, see more right below there. Um, ads manager. So by default, oh, yeah. go, go ahead and click on that. By default, um, everyone has an ads manager. So this is this is option two. This is this is the second way people will actually run an ad. And you guys ran, ran a ton of them. Um, this is this is the second way people will try to run an ad. But just okay. like the boost post, and these could have been boosted post actually, because when you boost a post, they actually end up here. So these could be boosted post. These could be simply ads that are ran through the quote unquote ads manager, which is option two ads manager. Um, mm -hmm. But from this point on, what we're going to do is we're going to take it, take it a step further and we're going to set up the business manager. The business manager, it's going to look just like this, but the business manager is going to open up all of the, all of the um, settings to track all the data. So as you're, so go ahead and open up another tab and go back to Facebook. Let's should go I go, should I go to her um, business page where no, we no, do no, all no. our stuff? No, we're actually going to work out of this okay. page right here. Yeah. We're actually okay. going to work out of this one. So you're fine right here. Actually go, go back, go, go back. Cause we're going to, we're going to be working out of that one. To but, ads manager. Okay. Yeah. Click on that and then go ahead and okay. open up another tab and go back to Facebook. So leave this one here and then just open up. Yeah. Open up another one and then go to Facebook. So, so again, the ads manager that's number two. Most will actually, that's so funny. There's my recent picture. Um, most <laughs> people will try to run it number two out of the ads manager. But as you scroll down, go ahead and scroll down. Let's see what, um, see what our friends are posting and see what, what, what everyone's up to. And then, and let's see if we come across a sponsored ad. And I always like to just give some context. Okay. Right here. Sponsored ad. Here. I just want to mm -hmm. give some context of where, where I'm coming from with what I'm going to teach in these next few minutes. Um, because it's so important because as you stopped here, and, and now this is the business manager. So as we stop on this ad, you're tracked. And that's mm -hmm. because of the business manager. Just and stopping on it? Just stopping on it. Because you simply stopped, which is a form of quote unquote engagement. Okay. So, it, 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 so you stopped your scroll. That's uh -huh. data. That is data. You didn't just scroll. You didn't just keep flying through. You actually stopped. That's, mm -hmm. that's a data point. So the third way is the business manager. So when you're running ads to the business manager, you can now track all of this stuff. And, and, and the whole reason for it is to be able to use and leverage to show people future ads. So for example, if that was a listing and Meredith stopped and I was able mm -hmm. to track that, she may not have clicked. She may not have entered her name and email on my website or whatever. She might've just st stayed here, but I was still mm -hmm. able to track it. So because you stopped for X amount of seconds, we've already been on this thing for 20 seconds now. Because you stopped, I can put you in a category which Facebook calls audiences and I can show you another ad. Wow, okay. Especially when you click. So go ahead and, go ahead and scroll down below the image and click on the button. So right there, shop now, click on the button. So this is all the business manager. As you clicked, you came over here and now you're tracked again. So swim chick, <laughs> They know that you haven't purchased anything yet, but they mm -hmm. know that you landed here. And as you click on anything above, so X out of this little subscribe thing, click on sweaters and, and cardigans, click on the dress, click on anything. As you click, you come to a whole nother link. Look at the link at the top. It changed right now. Wow. You're at, now you're at yeah. forward slash collections, forward slash sweaters, dash cardigans, click on any cardigan. And now that link at the top will change. Now it's forward slash products, forward slash punging dash V dash neck. So everything that we click on online is its own link and everything is tracked. 
And it's very simple. Like as I take you through these next few calls, it's so, so simple. All we're doing is taking these links and, and, and setting up different categories. So this swim chick, for example, that link at the top is mm -hmm. the forward slash at the very end is plunging dash V dash neck dash sexy, sexy dash sweater. They know for a fact that you landed on this link mm -hmm. and you landed on the green one. And they mm -hmm. also know that you haven't purchased yet. So you haven't clicked on add to cart. You haven't entered your name and your, your credit card information. You have not purchased yet. You just landed here. So what they would do if they were smart, and I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I'll say that they actually know what they're doing. If they actually know what they're doing, what they're going to do is they're going to turn around and show you the next ad, but they'll show you the green card again. And, and yeah. they, might even, they might even entice you and bribe you a little bit and say, hey, we noticed you were on our site looking at the green plunging V-neck sexy sweater. Here's right. a 10% coupon if you purchase now. Okay. Right. So now they, now they have you in their little, in their little, in their little funnel, in their little tracking. And, 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 and now they can keep showing the most relevant people their ads. And that's what this is all about. So that's all done through the business manager. So if you're going to okay. spend any money on an ad, don't boost it. If you're going to spend any money on an ad, do not run it through the ads manager, run it through the business manager so we can track all this stuff and leverage it in the future with more ads. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to set the whole business manager. So we can close out this one. We'll close out even the Facebook one. And we'll just simply go back to the ads manager. And sometimes people have it somewhat set up, but, but none of it's even complete. But let me see if you guys at least have it, have it up. And if not, no big deal. We'll start totally from scratch. But if you click the three lines to the left. So yeah, right there. So we're going to be clicking on, the, on those three lines a lot today. So we'll start at business settings. Let's go to the business settings and let's see if this is um, set up. So, okay, cool. So you have two of them. So these are two different business manager accounts. Um, and so you guys might've known what you were doing in this case, but a lot of times people have no clue how that even got there. Um, but no matter what, it's all good. And you have two of them, which is, which is really, which is actually good. Um, and we'll just work out of one, out of one of them. So go ahead and click on, click on. Can, and we, gonna, can we make it coast, a coastal property oh, shop? Because yeah, these are her old ones. Sure. Oh, for sure. We're going to customize the whole thing. Actually, don't click on that one. Just click on. Did, is she using any of these or, or can we, no, no. Okay, let's, let's work off of it. Let's go ahead and just click, okay. click them and we'll just work off of, off of that one. And we'll completely change the name and, and all that. Okay. Um, perfect. So now here's what we're going to also do this, this computer here. Is this, is this your computer or is this the office computer or is it's this your mine. laptop? Okay. Because we'll, laptop. it's your laptop. Okay. So mm -hmm. um, what we're going to do, and I can see that you're logged in. Click on your profile picture in the top right. You see your little profile picture next to update. So mm -hmm. you're logged in under you're logged logged in under that email. So as you go and log in on any other computer with that email in Google Chrome, I don't know if you've ever done that, but all these bookmarks come with it. Are you familiar with okay. that? Do you know yeah, that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So you can go log on to her laptop and log in with your kid with your actual email mm -hmm. and you'll actually see all your bookmarks. I don't know if you know that. Yeah. Okay. Do you, do, do you, did you know that or not? Yeah. Cause I, yeah. In the other job that I had, I noticed that. Yeah. Okay. okay perfect. Because the reason why, why I'm saying all that is because what, what we're going to do is we're actually going to, to create a folder. So if this is your laptop, then, mm -hmm. then later on in the future, maybe you can log on to her computer or whatever and, 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 and maybe add that folder to her account or, 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 or simply just do the same exact thing on her computer. But, okay. but, but, but the folder and the bookmarks will be right here. So, so right here next to all those bookmarks that you have at the top, uh -huh. go ahead, um, you can click away from your profile picture now. So just click in that burgundy area next. Yeah, right there, right click. And we're going to add a new folder. So we're going to create a MacBook, so there's no right click. <laughs> um, so then what you can do is, oh, wait, you can, is that it? There we go. Perfect. Add okay. folder. Add folder. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a folder and we're going to name this one FB Business Manager. So yeah, Facebook Business Manager, FB Business Manager. And so in this folder, we're going to dump seven bookmarks. And those are really the only seven things that you'll ever click on when it comes to this entire ad platform. There's only seven. Okay seven important tabs. And, and, and I'm going to show you all of them right now. So this actually is the first one. Let's start with this one. So go ahead and hit the star um, in the top right, bookmark this page. And this is going to be business settings. And again, we're going to change the name. We're going to change all that. 
Um, we'll just simply name it business settings. No seven, just just clean business settings. And then take it out of that folder, out of the bookmarks folder and put it in the, in the FB business manager folder. Okay, perfect. And then done. Okay, awesome. Now to the left, and we're going to work our way down on the left-hand side. So click on pages on the left. Okay, awesome. And then, so now over here, you see, you say, you see Lynn's name, and then who's this other name right below, right below Lynn to the right? Is that? Um, I yeah. don't have any idea who that is. No. Okay, so then, and are you the only one in charge of her page? At least, at, at, uh, yes, I am. Here? Okay, cool. Yeah. So let's get rid of that person, Matt, Matt, Matt. Yeah, I guess that's Matthew. That's a different way to spell it, but go ahead and remove. Yeah, remove. So let's just, let's just make sure that, um, that it's Lynn and then, um, yeah, you can just leave like that. Perfect. And then what we're going to do is we're going to simply come down on the left-hand side and we're going to go to add accounts. So add accounts, this is where when you run ads, so that's what I'm saying, as I was saying earlier, all those ads that you saw in the ads manager a few minutes ago, mm -hmm. you guys had a ton of them, all that, all those ads, whether they were boosted post or actually ran through that ads manager, all of those mm -hmm. are in that one specific account. Now, as we set up this new account, which is the business manager, this is going to be a new account. So, there, so, so in this account, a credit card needs to be tied to this account as well, because this is where we're going to be running ads. Okay. So I don't know if you have her card on file. You can always do it later. But um, I do. Okay, cool. So then hit the blue button. And then what we'll do is we'll just simply create a new account. So right below, it should be the third one down. Scroll down. Um, yeah, create a new ad account. Okay, perfect. So, And then here's the deal, too. What we're going to be naming three different things. We're going to rename the name that you see in the background in the top left, Coastal Home Concierge. We're going to rename yeah. that. Um, that's going to be a different name. If if whatever name you're going with. So so all I'm trying to say is whatever the one name is we're going to use, we're actually going to use that for everything. Okay. So what do you plan on 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 coastal property shop? Perfect. 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 So we're going to name the business manager that, which will, which will be that that name in the background. Um to the top left, Coastal Home. Oh, here. Here. Yeah, you can't do it now, but we'll do it here in the okay. next few steps. We're going to name okay. that Coastal Property Shop. We're going to name the ad account Coastal Property Shop. We're going to name the Pixel Coastal Property Shop. So we want to name everything the same. Um, so mm -hmm. that's the name we're going with, Coastal Property Shop. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And then next, we'll just hit next, the blue one. Okay, okay cool. So now as we come in here, um, we're going to go for my business. So right there, check that circle, my business, and then we'll go create. Okay, awesome. So now all you're going to do is check the circle in the top left, make sure Lynn is, is tied to it. Um, the one below, yeah, that one right there. And then to the very right, you're going to give yourself full control or give her full control. Actually, the very bottom one. You could just shade the bottom okay. one. That shades everything. Yeah, so that's full control um, and then assign. Okay, cool. So, and then add payment info. Okay. Oh, she just looked in. Can I use your Amex for the Facebook thing that we're doing? Okay. Yeah, I do. Okay, awesome. So here, we'll just hit next, and then we'll put in that info. Okay, cool. So this right here, this is another bookmark. So hit the star in the top right, and we'll just make sure it's in that folder. Um, we'll just name this one add accounts. This is add accounts. So, okay. so here's the deal. As I mentioned earlier, like I'm going to be available for whenever you guys need me. Facebook ads, Instagram ads, landing pages, and all these funnels. Mm -hmm. use the heck out of me i'll be i'll be available and 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 i don't mean to toot my own horn but but i i know a lot about this whole facebook stuff i've been doing it forever oh i can uh, tell <laughs> <laughs> so so I, I i know a ton but every now and then i get stumped on something like every now and then i'll see something super random I'm like holy crap what do we do <laughs> and, and and i won't have the answer and in that case we'll have to reach out to facebook so if that okay. ever happens the first thing facebook wants to know is what is your ad account id number and that's mm -hmm. it at the top, the 347-505. That's your ad account ID number. So okay. you bookmarked it. Um, you can always you can always hover over it, click it, and maybe email it to yourself, add account ID number. Um, but that's kind of the, the number one question that they have. So they can go in and 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 um and kind of break down any question you any any problem you might be it, they'll go in and resolve any problem you have. And, and nine out of ten times it's regarding the ad account and a charge or my credit card or my card got stolen or something. It all has to do with that ad account. Okay. okay so that number is super important. Okay, so now going down to the left on the left hand side, we're gonna go to Instagram account. So let's just make sure that our Instagram account is is tied in. So here. Nope. 
Yeah. So let's let's go ahead and fix this part. Is that the IG there or, or is it a different one? It's Coastal Property Shop. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and see if you can remove that one. You might not you might not be able to remo remove it, but see if you can just remove it and we'll add um we'll add the other one. Yeah, see, so this account can't remember because it's currently linked to a page. Okay, that's fine. So go ahead and add and you can add 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 the, the coastal property. Add here. Um at the very top, the blue one, go ahead and click on the blue button, add. Oh. Yeah. And so here we'll just log in with with the coastal property shop one and, and connect that one. Okay, there's Coastal Property Shop. Perfect. Kind of connect. I'm just gonna make sure you can you connect to the internet and try again. Try clicking it again. There we go. Okay, okay. cool. So it's yeah. So so add account. So go ahead and click on the blue one. Add account, and we should be we should be good. So now here, all we're doing is we're connecting that Instagram account to the ad account. So check that circle right there to the right. Yeah, click on that one and, and then click on finish. So that's the ad account. Um, and so now if when we run ads on Instagram, it's all tied back to this credit card, to this ad account. Okay, awesome. so, so we're good there. So now to the very, very left, we're going to keep going down. Okay. So the next one down is data sources. Um, data sources is, is a huge a huge um, um, component when it comes to the tracking, and that's the pixel. So that's another another miss, a huge, 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 huge reason why most most realtors never succeed with with Facebook ads, is because they never put their pixel on their website. Nine out of ten times, I see a website from from their broker. Like if I'm working mm -hmm. with someone with KW, they're running ads to their to the to the KW website that KW actually gave them. The same one that they mm -hmm. give every agent. Right, mm -hmm. same when EXP, they have the same replicated website that the broker gives to every agent. Those websites, typically, you cannot put your pixel on. Um, sometimes you can, most of the time you can. All, a lot of like Realty One, Century Twenty One, all these replicated websites that the agents have, the pixel is not theirs. And so, if I'm running an ad to my Century Twenty One website and and my pixel is not tracking the activity on that website, I'm blowing my money. And okay. and so. So the pixel is is everything, and that's what we're going to end up putting on on either either the the command websites or or any other future landing pages or websites that we get in, in the future. It's the pixel mm -hmm. that's going to allow us to track everything. So go ahead and click on pixel, and um, we'll somewhat set it up now. It won't be fully active until we actually put it on a website, but we mm -hmm. can at least get get it somewhat started now. So go ahead and click on the blue. So that's one. not the right one, though. Does that matter? Um, that that's actually going off of the name in the top left. Yeah which we're going to change. So we're going to change that coastal home concierge. We're going to change. Oh, it. gotcha. Gotcha. So, so right here, pixel name, go to name it the, the new one, which is coastal property shop. So we're going to name everything the same and, and then we'll click continue. And then what I'll have you do too, um, is I'll have you, you don't need to put anything there actually. Oh. Yeah. Leave that part blank. Um, yeah. Cause it's just optional. So we'll leave that part blank. So yeah. now what we're going to do is we're going to simply go to set up the pixel. Now we're going to just get through as far as we can. Um, um, and then we'll eventually have to put it on some website, but go ahead and click on manually add pixel code. And this right here, hover over that, click on the blue. That's your pixel. So yeah. if you scroll down, go ahead and scroll down to number two and then turn that off. So just shade that blue to gray and then shade it back on. We need everything to be blue. Perfect. Okay, cool. And then continue. And then cancel. Okay, perfect. So now here's what I want you to do. Um, go ahead and, and, and yeah, if those are your emails that you have there in the top left, the Gmails, go ahead and email it to yourself or email it to Lynn or whatever. If you guys have a general, general, general email account, like email it to your guys, email it to email yourself. Is, you're no, saying you're, you already have it copied. You have it, you have oh. it copied already. So just go into your email and actually email it to yourself. And, and that's just Facebook pixel. So, um, yeah, yeah. Email it to whoever. And then, and then in the subject line, Facebook pixel, Facebook pixel, um, for coastal property shop. Yeah. Facebook pixel for coastal property shop. And then just go ahead and in the body of the email right above her, her signature, go ahead and just paste it in. So in the future, even with the websites you guys have, have right now with KW command or any pages, 
either you guys can put that pixel if you have access to the settings, or you can even email it to them. I don't know exactly how, how KW works, but if there's someone in the in the back end that manages these websites for you guys and, and mm -hmm. edits them and all that stuff, you can probably even, even email it to them and say, hey, this is my Facebook pixel. Would you mind putting it on my website? Okay. Okay, because because that's super, super important. Um, and sometimes they will, sometimes they won't, but but that's your pixel. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add people. So to the right, go ahead and click on add people. And you're going to see actually to the very right. Yeah, add people. And then you should see Lynn um, and, then, and then full control, manage pixel, full control, and then assign. So everything is being tied back to the personal profile, which is Lynn. Um, okay. And then also everything also has to be tied back to the ad account as well. So the pixel is tied back to the ad account. So the way we do that is you click on add assets um, right there in the middle, the top add assets um, to the right. Yeah, right there, add assets. And, and then we're gonna tie the pixel to the ad account and then click add. Here and all, yeah, there you go. And then click on add and that's it. And, and all this stuff right here really Meredith is, is kind of a one-time thing. So you, I, I may have already lost you with all this, but, but don't worry. <laughs> yeah, about you lost me a long time ago. <laughs> right? Lost you a long time ago, right? But don't worry about it. Like, again, I'll okay. be here if you need anything. Um, but at the same time, this this is all kind of a one-time thing. Um, okay. And I won't need to do this part again. Um, and so we're good there. And so now the red dot, now the pixel is somewhat there, but it's just not fully mm -hmm. active. The dot is red. So once mm -hmm. we put it on a web page and then we open up that web page and Facebook reads it for the first time online in, in real time, then the red dot turns green. So, okay. um, so, so we'll just let it idle for now. That's totally fine. Okay, okay. so now the next one, the next one to the left, we're going to keep going down on the left hand side. The next one, and this, this is something we may not be able to do this on this call, but click on brand safety. The next one is domains that that's going to be a super, super important one. Um, in the past and forever, and this is the most, the most recent change. This is probably within the, the last, I would say maybe seven, eight months where Facebook now requires you to you can only run ads to websites that that you own the dot com on. So, okay. so for example, if, if Lynn has a KW website that, that that they give you guys, right? If she mm -hmm. has one of those replicated websites, that is her website through KW. But if you look at the link, the link is something like lynn.kw.com. Like it's really KW's link. It's really it's right. really her website, right? Yeah, You're it is. Somewhat customize it and maybe add your username to the link, but that's about it. That's not your .com, right? So, mm -hmm. so in the past, Facebook used to allow you to run it to any website and, and it's totally fine. But now if you're running ads, you have to run it to a website where you own the .com. And so to do that, you, we obviously got to just go get a new .com. It could be anything. And then we have to integrate it with Facebook. So if we purchase it through GoDaddy, which GoDaddy happens to be a popular place where people get domains, mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. we would just log into GoDaddy. We would we would grab some a, a piece of code that Facebook will give us here, and then we add it to GoDaddy. And now Facebook and GoDaddy can talk and communicate with regarding that domain and 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 prove that it's yours. So, so I have a quick question. So I think she has that through GoDaddy. It's CoastalPropertyShop.com. But then when perfect. you click on it, it, actually takes you to that KW yeah, like to the KW one. Yes. Yes. So, so what, what I was recommending, this is something that we can do on our next call or, or yeah, by the time our next call comes around, you guys can kind of figure out which domain you want to use. But in this case, what I want you to guys, what I want you to guys to kind of think of is, is this is the domain that we're going to be using for ads. This is the domain that we're going to be using for our landing pages. And, and, and if it is command, if you can change the domain in command, so command, you guys have landing pages. If mm -hmm. you can actually change and customize that.com, then, then command is, then, then we're totally good with that. We can use command, but I'm, I'm, I'm almost willing to bet that you cannot change that.com. You cannot change that domain. I don't know. I, I haven't looked at it, but, but I'm, but I'm kind of willing to bet. Um, okay. But, but, but either way, either way, we'll, we'll look in a command on our next few calls for sure. Um, mm -hmm. And if not, then, then what I always recommend is you guys have, you said you have coastal, you have coastal property shop right now. Yes. Okay. Coastal property shop.com. Right. Yeah. yeah. So when it comes to the ads, when it comes to Facebook, when it comes to any other landing pages that we may need for, for sales funnels, you can always go out there and get coastal property shop.info. Okay. And ask people, 
click on that. That's simply for ads. It's not really a link that you'll go out there and brand yourself around. It's really just for your ads. And, and dot info is something kind of kind of cool because we can start promoting a seller guide. We can start promoting a buyer guide and, and, it, and it's info, right? Coastal property shop dot info. Mm-hmm. And so as people click, they can go to a landing page, download your seller guide, right? Okay. And we can capture leads. And that's, that's kind of the primary, primary way we, we want to run ads is every now and then you can run an ad on a listing. You can run an ad on an open house. Like it, 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 it'll, it'll for sure work. But a lot of the times, depending on how hot your market is, I know things are slowing down, but mm-hmm. a lot of times properties aren't even on the market that long. So to run an ad, that property may be gone in the next few days. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So, so that's not really the, 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 the silver bullet. That's not really the main, main objective we want when it comes to Facebook ads. What we want to do is we want to stick to one objective. We want to stick to one topic. We want to, we want to run one every day. And so if you, if you stuck to, to promoting a seller guide or promoting a buyer guide, then that's mm-hmm. best. Like that, okay. that, that would be best. Like running ads to your local area, educating homeowners on what it takes to sell and simply offering a free PDF, a free, a free seller's guide with all this great information. And I have a million of them I can send you guys. Um, I have a lot of KW ones as well, but, um, mm-hmm. but, but all that is is a simple way to capture the lead. And, and that's simply giving away something upfront of value for free in exchange for their information. That's how you capture a lead. Um, you got to give something up for free up front. And so okay. in your business, it works really, really easy. It's a buyer guide or a seller guide, a PDF, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? So, so we'll, we'll cross that path over the next few calls, whether we go the buyer guide route or, or the seller guide route. Um, but again, the domain, it could just be simply dot info. And, and so in can, the meantime, we need to go buy the coastal property shot dot info. I I'd recommend it. Yeah, for sure. I'd okay. go back into GoDaddy, go into your account and just get the dot info. Okay. And, and we'll use that for Facebook ads and your landing pages. All right. Yes, for sure. So, so then we'll come back to the domains. We'll come back to the domains. So now to the bottom left, we'll keep going. We have one more down here on the bottom left and it's business info. So this is where we're going to simply change the name at the top. So scroll down business info and all this over here. Okay. Good. So, so at least most of it's filled out. So go ahead and change. Yeah. Hit that hit edit. And then go ahead and change that name to Coastal Property Shop. And then in the primary page field, you'll go ahead and click, type in her name or type in maybe Coastal Property Shop. And then you'll, you'll see the business page pull. Yeah. So, so yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. And then save. Okay. So as you save that, go ahead and refresh that, go ahead and refresh the page and that profile picture should update. Awesome. So now, now, now it's all one. So now. Now the business page and, and this new business manager is all is all tied together. Um, and then the legal name, go ahead and click on edit. Go ahead and put Coastal Property Shop there as well. Um, Here? That, that's the bottom one. Yeah, that one down, the business details. Yeah, so at the very top, legal name, go ahead and put in Coastal Property Shops. And no one sees this information either down here. Um, okay. This is all just internally for Facebook. Um, and then that .com, that .com, go ahead and, and, and change that out. Change out that .com at the bottom. Um, website, yeah, the business website, and and actually put coastalpropertyshop.info because that's the one we're gonna we're gonna go and get. So coastalpropertyshop.info, um, and no tax ID needed, so we could just click on save and and we're good. And then let me see if this part is confirmed as well. So scroll down to the very very bottom here on the right hand side. Okay, perfect. So the email is confirmed. We're good. Okay, we're good. So we're done with this business settings. Um, we needed to kind of fill in all those blanks and, and, and we're good here. So now click on the three lines at the top and we're going to go to ads manager. So now as we go back to the ads manager, nothing's here, right? So mm-hmm. just like your other account and everything's still there. So if you hit the drop, go ahead and click on no right here. Actually, actually that's fine. But if that thing pops that's up again, right. you're just click okay. on no. Um, but if you click on that drop down at the top, Coastal Property Shop 347, click on that and then click on see more ad accounts. So your old account is right there. So that's the that's the one we get by default. That's the ads manager, the Lynn couch. That's the bottom one. That's where, watch, go ahead and click on the bottom one. That's where all your other ads are at, right? So you didn't lose anything. Everything is in this one account. But okay. we're not running anything out of this account anymore. We always want to make sure we're running ads out of the other account. So click the drop down, okay. go back to that other account, um, see more ad accounts. 
yeah, click on the top one. This is where we're working. Yeah, click on no, click on no at the top. So this is the account we're running ads from this point on. So go ahead and bookmark this one, hit the star, and this is ads manager, ads manager. Just ads manager. Yeah, just add, yeah clean out all that and just, just ads manager. Perfect. Ugh, I hate Apple sometimes. You know what? I, I, I haven't, I haven't went over to the dark side yet. Like I have yeah. not left. My Everybody phone. talked me into it. I'm still learning it. So you were PC forever and now you're Apple. And yeah, I don't know why it seems like another language to me. Like I, finally went to the iPhone. Like, I had an Android forever and I finally went over to the iPhone, which I'm happy. I did too. Yeah. But I haven't gone over to, to a Mac yet. An Apple. Computer. It's actually pretty awesome. It's just, there's a right? learning curve. And there once you spend curve, right? time doing it, you're yeah. okay. Yeah, right on. So, and yeah, and, and yeah, it's actually 10 times better than, than everything else too. So I got to <laughs> go, go that route. So, so this is ads manager. So we're good here. So now I'll click on the three lines to the left and next we'll go to, we'll go to billing. Let's go to billing. We'll go to billing and, and then in the top right, we'll click on payment settings. And then we're going to bookmark it from over here. So go ahead and hit the star right here. You always want to know throughout the month, and this is just billing, name it billing. Throughout the month, you always want to know where that balance is at. You always, it's always good to know what card is on file. If you need to change that card, you can always add a different card. Um, but the last thing you want to do is wake up and, and, and Facebook smash that card for 500 bucks. Like that's the last thing you want to do. So you always want to know where that balance is at throughout the month. And, and this is where you would check it. Um, and because this is a new ad account, what Facebook will end up doing in the very, very beginning is they'll start charging you like every $2. So if we're, if we're going to run an ad and we're spending a hundred bucks on the ad, they'll literally charge you every $2, like leading up to the hundred. Um, but it's only like a few, like they might do that, like maybe, maybe, maybe four or five times. And then they increase the threshold and then they'll start billing you a few times at the $25 mark. So at 25 bucks, they'll bill you at 50 bucks, they'll bill you at 75 bucks. They'll bill you like, they'll start billing you like every 25. And then after they know, and I think they do that just for, I don't know if it's just for just to just to just to know that the credit card is is legit or or what. Like I don't know why the hell they they do that, but they they'll they'll yeah. hit that credit card several times, and then after that, and 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 you always want to make sure it goes through. Like that's another thing. Like if it if it if it and and American Express that thing's always going to go through. But just speaking in general, like that's kind of the worst too. Is when is when the credit card declines, then it throws off the entire account and it and it and it stops every ad that may be running. All because the the credit card didn't go through on, on a, at a certain billing um, amount, for example. So, so you always want to make sure good cards on file, and then and then once your cards hit a few times, then you go to one bill a month. So then they'll just oh, okay. you once a month, and 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 I think it's like at the end of the month, like I'm billed every thirtieth of the month, once a month. So, so it'll increase, and then and then yeah, and then you'll be billed once a month. So this is billing, um, and then scroll down right below account spending limit. Let's make sure all this info down here is filled out. So there's um, yeah, go to the business info, go to click on edit and let's, let's fill up this as well. Um, so business name, address, and then, and then the billing country below. And we're going to go now to audiences. So this is another, another bookmark. So this is what I was referring to earlier by showing you that ad in the newsfeed. You clicked on it, looked at the dresses. Actually don't bookmark it yet. Click on remove okay. right below because we have to go into it. Um, this is like the, the, the front of it, but this is what it's all about. So I, 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 I cannot stress enough how, how, how important this part is. This is what all of online advertising is all about. Not just Facebook, not just Instagram, but every damn platform, everything on the internet. If anyone's running ads online, custom audiences is what it's all about. Because again, as you clicked on that dress, as you clicked on that cardigan, as you looked at the green one, all that stuff is data. All that stuff is being tracked. All of those are custom audiences. So that's why, like, I would not be surprised if, if next time you're back on Facebook, you see an ad for the green cardigan <laughs> because you were, you were just there. You I kind of liked it. So I'm going to have right? to look at it. <laughs> yes. And believe me, you'll probably see a coupon code come over the next few hours when, sure. they, when they retarget you because you're in their green cardigan audience. Literally, you are in their quote unquote green cardigan audience. Mm -hmm. Like no joke. That's how specific <laughs> it is. So wow. this is what it's all about. And, and in your guys' case, it, like when you look at those websites of, of, of like, for example, clothes, there are so many different things to click on. There, that whole website was like an Amazon for clothes. There's so much going on. But in your guys' case, it's really two pages. Like what I showed you on our other call, you got the landing page, you got the thank you page. 
it's really these two pages, like around a listing, around an open house, a buyer guide, a seller guide, anything. It's it's really two pages. So so it's not as as extensive or as 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 overwhelming and it may, as it may seem. It's really just tracking a couple pages. And and then when you if if and when you guys start putting out more video, it's about tracking the video viewer as well. So go ahead and click on that blue one, the top blue one, create a custom audience. And what we'll do for now, do you know if she has any videos on her business page? Are you guys, are you guys doing videos at all or, or not? Not yet. Mm, we've, we've put posted a couple like, you know, videos, not really her talking or anything, just like ducks flying. I think she sent me the yeah. other day and post that. Okay. Okay. So, so in the future, one thing you guys definitely want to do, like I, 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 I can't stress that enough is, is really break out of your shell and, and start, start okay. doing little simple videos. Like I'm telling you, and okay. they're so, so effective. It doesn't, it has no, it has nothing to do with how you look, has nothing to do with how you sound, has nothing mm-hmm. to do with any of that. Like at all, like at all at all, there's something magical about video, no matter what that person looks like, no matter what they're even talking about. Like, and in your right. guys case, it's, 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 it's powerful because you guys are like somewhat put on a pedestal. Like you are a licensed realtor like you guys are licensed professionals so it kind of comes down to no matter what the hell you guys are talking about you still have an authority and people still listen it's not like you're Mm -hmm. just rambling about something stupid like like you guys are actually educating people so 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 that's that's value that 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 when people start to see videos that are coming from you guys they become Mm -hmm. indoctrinated meaning they start to like you they start to trust you they start to believe mm-hmm. you they start to want to do business with you all because they're seeing you in video form it's absolutely it's it's mind-blowing to tell you the truth mm-hmm. like i've been building a youtube channel for the for the past few years and and i'm nobody like i'm nobody like i'm i'm absolutely nobody and 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 it's it kind of it blows my mind when i'm speaking to people like that are not just clients yet they 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 may have been following my youtube well, not may they have been <laughs> following my youtube channel for the past let's just say two years i have yeah. many people that message me hey david i've been following your your like i can show you right now like i get messages almost week yeah pretty much weekly not daily but i get them weekly where i'll get a message saying hey david i've been following you on youtube for the past couple of years i'd love to talk to you it's like man like for the last couple of years like what the hell like, <laughs> you've been watching my videos for the last couple of years like that's freaking yeah. crazy so, so, so when people can see you in video form, there's something magical about that. And, and YouTube is another game because that's long form video, but over here, as you start to do video on, on, on listings or walkthroughs or anything real estate related, they're short form. So you, they can be anywhere from one minute to a minute and a half. Um, they don't have to be long at all on your cell phone, okay. fancy at all, like nothing fancy at all on your cell phone, selfie style. You could be doing video and, 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 and what we're doing with these video eventually is targeting your local market. So it's not for all of social media, it's for our local market. And, and you'll be surprised after a few videos, people down the street will start to know who you guys are. Like, it's absolutely crazy. Like it's absolutely crazy. Wow. So, yeah. so all I'm saying I, it's crazy that you say that my son did a video at their eighth grade graduation and it was a really funny video and he had the whole audience like laughing and they were like, there's 900 kids graduating from eighth grade. And he was at his brother's ball game last night and two people recognized him and go, Hey, right. that right. the video. See? <laughs> See, that's crazy. And imagine if that was a video that was running 24 seven targeting that mm-hmm. area. See, that was just one video that went viral and yeah, it's going out there 24 seven. Yes. But if you actually, th- when it comes to an actual ad and you're actually putting a few bucks behind it and the whole mm-hmm. objective is to get people to see it, that's even crazier. And these people are down the street from me. Like that's even yeah. crazier. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so, so what I'm saying here is that these are all the different sources that you can actually create an audience around, but in your guys's case, it's going to only be a, around a couple of them, which is website and, and video. So, yeah. so just like that, that, that brand, we're not going to do website right now, but yeah. I'm just, I'm just kind of setting it up yeah. where in the future, it's going to be around website and video um, where you're going to be building the majority of your custom audiences. Now, because we don't have the website, any websites up just yet with the pixel on it, we won't do website yet. We won't do video yet, but to just get into the, into the, into the actual account and, and yeah. actually bookmark it, we'll simply create an audience around Facebook page. So let's just click on Facebook page um, just for the heck of it right now. And then next. So now we're coming into it. So now the page, we want to hit that drop down the food drive one. We want to get out of that one. We'll find her other business page um, and we'll go with that one. 
So there's the coastal property shop. Perfect. And then the events hit that drop down. We don't want to put a and in and, and custom audiences, all the another word I like to use for them for, for custom audiences is buckets. All we're doing is putting people in buckets. That's all we're doing. Okay. All this is is buckets. So bucket number one, we can literally put everyone who who currently likes or follows the page, right? That could be one bucket. Now, okay. I don't want to do that. I don't want to put people in that bucket because if I have everyone who likes or follows the page and these are people from all over the place, mm-hmm. they can care less about my listing or open house down the street. They can care less right. about the seller guide or, or any of that because these are people from all over the place that like and follow my page. So that's not wow. the most ideal bucket at all. Even everyone who engaged with the page, like I was just on her page a little while ago. I, I engaged. You don't want me in an audience because if you put me in an audience and show me an, an, an ad in the future, I don't really care about it, right? Because I'm in California. Mm-hmm. I'm not moving, right? Mm-hmm. So, so, so it's not engaged either. The third one down, anyone who visited, don't want that one either because that's David and, and mm-hmm. people all over the place are, are visiting. But the mm-hmm. fourth one, that one's more, more, somewhat more, more um, relevant. That fourth one down, people who engaged with any post or ad. It's not really the post part, but it's the ad part. So click on that one. So we'll just somewhat set this up just for the heck of it. Um, just so we can bookmark it. And then again, moving forward, we're going to be building 99% of every future audience around website and video. Okay. Okay, so, so, and then the retention here, the 365, Facebook can literally gather all the people that have, that have engaged with any post or ad in the past 365 days and put them in this audience, put them in this bucket. But that's too, that's too long. Like, we want to drop that down. Like we want to take away the five, like maybe bring it down to 36 days or maybe even 30 days. Um, I say 30 days, 30 days is kind of the max. Um, so anyone who's engaged in the past 30 days will be in this audience. And that's kind of even, even, even pushing it because as we're online all day, like, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm online all damn day. And, and Mm -hmm. I don't remember things that I clicked on yesterday. (laughs) Yeah. Right. So it's like if I clicked on your website for the very first time and I only did it one time nine days ago, I might not remember you. So so if we're talking 30 days and I and I clicked on your website one time and I did it 28 days ago, I may not remember you. So that's why 30 days is kind of even long. You know what I mean? Um, and, but, but just leave it, leave 30 for now. And, and we'll just go with that. Um, okay. and then audience name, we'll name it the same people who engaged with any post or ad. And so in this case, this would be an audience that we can literally, that we're literally putting in a bucket that we can use to show our next ad to. Okay. That's what this is all about. Okay. So create audience. And so now the page will open up and, um, and now we'll bookmark it from over here. Okay. So as this thing finishes, okay, so click on done, the purple one, and then just, just go ahead and bookmark it from here. So that's our first custom audience. And this is custom audiences, custom audiences. Perfect. Okay, cool. And we're done. And then we'll click on, we have a couple more bookmarks, and then we'll click on the three lines to the left. And now we're going to go to events manager. So events manager over here is your pixel and your and your custom conversion. And I'll explain what a custom conversion is. But go ahead and close this out. So show later or X out. And then in the top right, hit that coastal property shop, click on that drop down, and then you'll see the top one. Yeah, click on that top one. Okay, so now let's bookmark it from, from here. So go ahead and bookmark it from here. And we're going to name this one pixel. P-I-X-E-L, pixel. And so... In the future, as we need to get the pixel, because what you did is you you copied it from the other page, from the business settings. I had you copy it. You emailed it to yourself, right? Mm-hmm. So, so that was one place in the very beginning that, that we got it from. But from this point on, the pixel is over here. So if you scroll down, go below... Um, actually, actually, it's, it's, it's not here just yet because we haven't, we haven't put it on a page. But once we put it on a page, then we'll see it right here. Um, actually, you know what? Click on... I'm so sorry. Un- hit the hit the uh, blue the blue star in the top right, um, the bookmark, and remove it. Yeah, remove it. Just remove, and then click on that red triangle to the left. That's actually your pixel right there. Yeah, that's the one right there. Okay, perfect. Okay. So now, now, okay. See, so right here. So go ahead and bookmark this, and we're gonna rebookmark this part because once we actually, and this is pixel, once we actually install it on a on a page, then this page will open up, and our pixel will be here. Okay. So. So 
yeah, so so we're good here. So we'll bookmark it here for now and, and we're good. So now last bookmark, I think it's the last one. So hover over the blue triangle to the left and we're gonna go down to a little more to the left, that blue triangle. And we're gonna come down okay. to custom conversions. Okay, perfect. And then bookmark it from here. And again, this is a page that we'll, we'll re-bookmark um, once we actually activate the custom conversion. So yeah, click, this one's custom conversion. And let me explain um, what this custom conversion is really, really quick. This is so, so important. And this is another reason why most do not succeed with Facebook ads. Go to, um, open up another tab. Yeah, open up another tab and go back to Facebook. Go back to your newsfeed and let's just scroll through and let's just look at it. Like, let's look at a random ad real quick. This is custom conversions. Um, so, so important. So right below Winnie, we keep going down, um, scroll down, scroll down and let's see if we come across. Okay, cool. So this is tailored living feature premier garage. Okay, so it all starts with a question. Here's an ad, right? It all, it all starts with a question. And it's not really a trick question. There's not, there is a right or wrong, but I don't expect you to know the answer to this one. But here, here's the question anyways. Looking at any ad, right? Here's an ad. What do you think the main objective is? To get people to call them to do their closets. Okay. So how does that happen? Click on the button. It would, they had to click here. They'd have to click. So, so that was your answer. That was your answer to, to get people to call, to get people to, to, to fix their closets or whatever you said, right? right? That is your answer. That is a very, very specific answer. Some would have, or actually not some, most would have said, well, David, the objective is to get them to click the ad. Mm -hmm. That's what I get mm -hmm. most of the time. You actually, your answer was a little different. Your answer was to get them to schedule an appointment. Yeah. That's a different answer than someone that would have said, well, David, it's, get, it's to get them to click. Most say that to get them to click. So if that is the objective, you just clicked objective met. Mm -hmm. So what Facebook will end up doing is they'll give you 15,000 people that clicked, but no one entered their zip code because all you asked for was people to click. Right. right? And, then, and then some people, when you put out a video, some people will say, let's say it's a, it's a walkthrough. Let's say you're at a property and you're doing a walkthrough and you're recording it and you're running an ad. Some people will also say, well, David, my objective is to get the entire town to see this video. Okay, cool. If that's the objective, don't cry when, 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 when 15,000 people view it, but no one opted in. Right. You asked for people to view it, right? Super mm -hmm. specific. So again, back to your answer, you said to get people to schedule an appointment. Mm -hmm. In order to do that, that lead, that person, that prospect, that visitor would have to enter their zip code. So go ahead and put in any random zip code. Let's just, we'll just funnel hack. This is what we call it. Put in any random zip code and click on get started. So if the objective is to get them to schedule an appointment, put in any bogus email, just put one, two, three at Gmail or whatever. Yeah, me at, at perfect, perfect. And the next step. So in order, and then go ahead and fill this out as well. Put John, whatever, perfect. So if the objective is to get them to schedule an appointment, then that means that I would need Facebook to find me people, go ahead and click on sub submit request, to literally find me people that are likely to land on this page. This is the custom conversion. Cons look at the link at the top, consultation.tailoredliving.com forward slash thank you dash you dash PHP. That link is in Facebook as a custom conversion. So as this person runs the ad, they're telling Facebook, hey, my number one objective is to get people to this link. And the only way they can get to that link is if they fill out the form. Right. Okay. Super specific, right? Super specific. So just like on the other, the other day when we were on, on, on the call and I was showing you landing pages and in, in a simple sales funnel, an open house, a listing, a seller guide, as a person comes to the first page and they enter their name and email and they land on the second page. And then I showed you a video of, of, wow. of my, of one of my, one of my clients, that second page, that link that's the custom conversion. 
So all we're doing is we're telling Facebook, hey, man, I'm running this ad to get people to my second page, not necessarily my first page. Yes, they have to go to my first page in order to get to my second page, but I'm mm -hmm. looking to get people to the second page. That's the custom conversion. So in this case, this guy right here, if he has that link at the top, which I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and, and say he does, he has that link at the top set up as a custom conversion to let Facebook know this is the, 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 the final destination. And he also has that link at the top set up as a custom audience. So just like I'm explaining with our audiences, it's all about tracking the website. It's all about tracking the video so we can retarget and show people future ads. Well, in this case, this is also a custom audience, but this is a custom audience of quote unquote leads. So what mm -hmm. we would do with this audience, when we run our next ad and on, what we would do with this specific audience is now exclude them. So that bucket, oh, okay. will yeah, now start you don't want them again. Included. Yeah, because you already got your, they're already a lead, so they don't need to keep seeing your your ads. Okay, right. So mm -hmm. custom conversion and custom audience. So that's kind of what it's all about. So let's look at our folder really quick. We should have seven bookmarks in that folder, um, right there in your bookmarks. So we have what do we have? We have um. Yeah, right there in the bookmarks, that folder. So we have business settings, ad accounts, ad manager, billing, custom audiences, pixel, and custom conversion. Those are the top seven. There's nothing else in this entire platform around those seven. Okay. So as we move forward, we'll be filling in the pixel. We'll be filling in the custom conversion. We'll be filling in the custom audiences. We'll be running ads through the ads manager. The credit card that's on file is in that ad account. Um, and then obviously we'll know our billing throughout the month as well, because the billing is saved there as well. So that's pretty much today's call. Any, any questions on that? No, but my brain's pretty fried. It's the last <laughs> yeah. hour of the day. Right. <laughs> and I just right. sat through a two hour social media Holy thing. Crap. Right before your oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. So yeah. I'll send you guys, this, uh, you guys this recording here shortly. And then just, um, okay shoot me a message or, or just, just jot down my calendar, actually zoom call with david.com zoom call. In fact, pull it up right here and then maybe just bookmark it and save it in the, in the FB business manager folder, zoom call with david.com. So there you can just schedule all of our future calls. Um, and, and if, and if you don't see anything on the schedule, like any availability, just shoot me a message and, and, and always go with the bottom one, Facebook ad coaching. Um, but if you don't see any avail availability, just shoot me an email and, and I'll make it happen for sure. Awesome. Thank you very cool. much. I just yes. want to kind of look at myself and let it sink in and then I'll be ready for you next time. <laughs> it's all good. Don't even worry about all this right now. Like we have plenty, plenty to learn. And, and again, I don't expect you to know this overnight at all. That's why you have me. So okay. don't worry about it. Have a, have a, have a, have a great rest of the evening and then a great weekend. And then just let me know Thank you very much. Appreciate our next it. call. Yes, for sure. We'll go from All there. All right. I will schedule Thanks. it for you. Thanks. Bye-bye.